Hey guys, and welcome to this training on how to create an ebook using Canva. So, if you've never heard of Canva before, you definitely need to get on it as soon as possible. Canva is amazing, it's completely free, and it's what I use to create most of my pictures. So, we just look through this quickly. This is basically what we're going to create we're going to create a nice cover show you how to put text in and pictures and then go through in certain hyperlinks creating bullet points a name for your document and how to download the PDF so the first thing you need to do is head over to Canva so you're going to go over to canva.com it might ask you to log in using your Facebook your Google account or just using your email address and password whatever you want to do just head over and get that done then we're going to click on the A4 document just here. Depending on what it is you want to create, whether it's not just an ebook, you want to do some sort of Facebook post, but there's loads more options here of different sizes which have already been pre inserted so you can pick it from there. So if we just go for the A4 one, this is for the ebook. So we click A4 and it's going to open up straight away. So what I'm going to suggest is you already have your text already written up so if you've already got your text written up make sure you get it typed up and make sure it makes all sense then what I'm going to do is just insert the pictures which I've already got so I'm just going to go here and click in all the pictures that I need for this ebook quickly so it's just going to start downloading it now so what we need to start off with is by creating some sort of layout for your ebook so if you go back to this one really quickly here you can see we've got the two logos at the bottom and the black line here just to kind of separate everything so it stands out a bit more. So we get these two logos in, put them down the bottom. Good. Also make sure they fit roughly the same size so they're equal. And then to create that little line all you need to do is go over to elements, shape, click the square shape and just make sure it fits in perfectly with what you need it to do. So nice and small, done, bring that in. So next was the background for the cover. So it was just this nice one here we had. So let's stretch out a bit, make sure it fits in. And there you go, perfect. Then we have the image. So if you want an image without a white background, when you're Googling it or creating it yourself, just make sure it's a transparent background or a PNG picture. Let me just take that up a little bit more. There you go. And then to add the text to finish the cover off, just click the text button here. You can create your own one here, or we can choose one of the presets. So let's go for this one here. There you go. So just type it in. Make it all in capitals. Perfect. Move it up a bit. And now, just so it stands out a bit more, we're going to change all these to white. Done. So there you go. So that's basically the front cover done and dusted. So what we're going to do now is create the rest of the pages. So this is going to be the main page now. So we've got that. So I need to delete all this first. So we've got the template ready to go. So we should start every single one off with a nice big bold headline. And that's going to make sure it fits into the perfectly to the sensor. So put it to the side, put it to the side. And let's change this size to, let's say, 42. Good. So like I said earlier, you've got your text pre-done already. So I'm just going to insert my image really quickly and then I can work around the image then to make sure it all fits in. So that's that. I'm going to insert, add some text. Post my text in. So I've got some dummy text here really quickly. Good. Oh, you center it or take it off, you just choose one of these. So you align it to the left. Once you've done that, then you need to try and make sure it fits in perfectly. So if we just move some of these about really quickly so it fits in. So depending on how many pictures and how much text, just make sure it all looks good, ready for whoever you're going to give it to. Perfect, let's move it down a tiny bit. 
done. So that's basically how you create another page. So let's just move on a little bit further. So we're just going to delete this. Delete, get rid of the picture. So if you're going to put some sort of hyperlink, so you've written something and you want to link it back to something else or call to action or something like that, all you need to do is just type it in. So we just select that bit of text that you want. You're going to click the link button here and you're going to put it in. So we put www, oh, we'll put HTTP. So perfect. So we just double click to make sure. You can see it's already in. So if anybody clicks on that after you've downloaded it as a PDF, it's going to look perfect. And once they give it a click, it's going to take them to that one. If you want to put some bullet points in, just simply click the text, go to bullet points, and there it is. And then you create some more, and so on, and so on. So that is basically how you create the PDF. Again, if you want to put some more pictures in, just put the pictures in how you want it to look and make sure it all fits perfectly just the way you want it. The final couple of bits are giving it a name. So how to create an ebook. I would also then put your name at the end of the ebook as well. So you just put done. And then to download it as a PDF, just click download, download, choose the folder or file you want to save it to. Save. There you go. Done and dusted. Your download is there. So what you do then is if you want to give it away for free or something like that, you can stick it on your website. And then when somebody wants it, you just give them the link that you saved it to your website or any sort of way. But that is really quickly and simply how to create an ebook using Canva.